Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kumi Trent. We're working on sunflowers. Super, super easy, fast uh, tutorial with these sunflowers using one brush, my favorite half inch Princeton Neptune brush that I showed you in my favorite brush tutorial. Uh, a couple of yellows and some browns, some black, and we're good. So let's get started. Okay, to start, I have my 100% arches, I'm sorry, 100% cotton arches cold water pressed paper. Um, it was a 10 by 14 sheet. I just folded in half. I've got a couple of yellows. This is an artist loft yellow. It's cadmium yellow, um, pale hue, and the cadmium medium yellow. Fairly inexpensive watercolor. You can even use whatever watercolor you have. If you need to draw, um, I'm not really going to teach a drawing tutorial on sunflower because really it's going to make it like an oval with a circle here and here going to grab my favorite half inch pointy Neptune Princeton brush. Get it wet with some water on it. Grab this yellow. I mixed the combination of these two yellows together. I kind of like that. And this brush itself is going to lend it to like the leaves. It's just perfect for that. You're basically going to push down and pull back and you got these perfect um, sunflower petals really. See how simple this is? Just pushing down and pulling back. And you're going to kind of go around this oval like this. You're going to curve the petals like so. You don't want to keep them all in this weird, like pointy, all out in a circle. That's not natural. I do like that. And then I'll do the same thing with this oval down here. Grab it around like that. So this is one of my favorite brushes just for this reason. Makes these great petals. Look at that. Very simple. You can go in and grab some of this orange. This is the medium orange. And put some Okay, so we're going to be grabbing some of this orange here and doing the same thing. Just do little ones in between and grab some, I have some like burnt umber over here. Mix that in. I would dab it on your paper towel. Pull this up here so you can see. Dab, dab, dab. You know how I do this. You want a variety, you don't want this just yellow leaves. You want to get in there and you want to mix it up. Throw in some of that brown towards the end. See, now it's just pulling it out. It gives it more dimension, it looks more natural. Still a little too wet, so it's it's bleeding. So we're gonna just stop doing the the um, the sunflower petals, and we're gonna work on the stems. Grabbing some Hooker's green right here, mix with a little sap green. Sunflower stems are fairly dark, actually, so I'm gonna grab a little indigo. I'm just gonna pull that down. Really simple. And for the leaf, put this one down here. them in here. Taking this belly of the brush. Look at that. Push down, pull up, go like that. This brush is phenomenal. I don't even think it's that expensive actually. I got it at Dick Blick. Um, they have a special, I don't I think it's online. I don't know if it's online or not, but you buy five brushes you get a big discount. And it makes sense to do that because if you buy like two or three, you're paying like almost double. So check it out. It's worth it to buy five brushes. Um, I'm sure if they have the same sale online that they do in the store. That's the beauty of that. And that's what I did recently. I bought five brushes because it was ridiculous for the price of three. I could get two more extra free brushes. See how simple that is? We're going to grab some Payne's Gray 
and some indigo. Get that color dark inside there. And put a petal, I'm sorry, not petal, leaf out here. This is like the simplest sunflower tutorial ever. Look at that. Again, grab some of the indigo. Some sap green, bleed it out. So I'm gonna dry this and come back so I can show you the, the leaves and to fill the inside. All right, that's dry. So I'm gonna use the same brush again. I'm gonna grab some of this orange, like I was showing you before. See it bled in there, so now we're gonna go back in and fix that. Grab some orange, mix it with some umber. See, and then we're gonna put those petals in there now. Or you wanna go in and just with the point of it, just hit the bottom of it, swirl it up to the top. But I'm going to add some of these brownish petals. Because the sunflower isn't just this weird, funky, bright yellow, it's got, it has a lot of values and tones to it. Some sunflowers are darker than others. Do you get my point to see? Just kind of adding some of these dark, kind of a little dark brown in here. Some more orange. Get even real dark in here if you want. Okay, we're gonna fill in the middle. So I'm going to use the Burnt Umber. This is the Cotman from a series from Winsor & Newton. It's a nice deep brown. Water that down. You can add some Payne's Gray to it. Get it even deeper. Look at that. Just going to hit the outside of this. A little halo right there. Same thing with this one. We'll leave a little halo right there. Now, with the tip, if you want to grab some pants or black, get it really dark on the tip. And then just push it. Let me zoom in so you can see. I'll just push it out. The sunflower. A little spiky like that. Same thing in this one. Has that loose wet on wet technique. And then we're gonna go in when this is dry and put in some blackish tones right in the middle. Alright, so I dried this. I'm grabbing my Payne's gray black. Just going into the center here, around that halo, because the center of the sunflower is pretty dark. I have other sunflower tutorials on my channel. Um, one's a demo with the Shinawaza Rives. I think the other one is a step-by-step. -step. This is a real simple, like two-second one. You can put the line in here, the veins, hold the leaf, same thing over here. Grab some of that green. Put those little vein lines in there. This is like the fastest Speedy Gonzales sunflower. You know, basically under like 10 minutes, five minutes. Good practice. Loose wet on wet. And I would go back in a little bit again, adding some more layers of this orange. Some red, some yellow, deeper orange. 
You want to just have like multiple layers of it. It's just going to really enhance the sunflower. You see what I'm saying? It's just going to give it more depth. This is not a realistic sunflower. This is a loose one. This is just fun practice. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.